Hi everyone, really good to see you again today. Where are we now? Today we're doing something a little bit special. We are going to one of the most expensive buffets in the whole of the UK. And loads of you, and I'm sorry I can't think of all the names, have recommended that I take a look at the Grove Hotel and the Glass House Restaurant. A little bit about the Grove Hotel. It's a five star resort. It's got golf clubs here, or a golf club. It's got a spa, it's got everything, five stars. Uh, it's got quite a few bars and restaurants as well. Now, when I've done the Wimpy video, I said, would you like me to come along and review one of the most expensive buffets in the UK? And naturally you guys turned around and said, yeah, Gary, you crack on, no problem at all. You spend your money. So, you know, for that, I really appreciate it. Hmm. As always, let's give it a go. Guys, don't normally ask this, but if you could hit that like button, really appreciate it. Okay. Okay, so here we are inside. Stunning. There's no other word for it. Absolutely stunning. Just here behind the cameraman, there is an absolutely gorgeous garden. Um, really nicely laid out and presented. And we've come in, sat down. Uh, our servers today spent a lot of time going through every detail of what to expect and what, what you can have. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm really, really blown away with how good the service is. And because it's a Friday, you get a free complimentary glass of Prosecco. Very nice. Okay, so basically we come in, it's a buffet. Uh, we've got a huge selection here and we'll run through the selection when we go up. And it's 65 pound. However, if you come in here, and today is Friday, as I said, if you come in here on the weekend, on a Saturday and Sunday, it's actually 82 pounds. So for the weekend, the price goes up. Uh, just am really, really, Got a smile on my face. This is this is quite enjoyable before I even actually start. So what we need to do now is go up, take a look at the starters. Apparently it's a fantastic range of starters. So let's go up and have a look. Okay, sorry, there's someone behind us there. Um, had a look around, truly incredible selection that's here. I'm gonna run through everything a bit later on. If you take a look here, I'm gonna sort of start off with some cold meats. So up here, we've got some ham hock terrain. Try a slice, a bit of that. Now, I wanna try a selection of quite a few things. So uh, I'm gonna get a bit of salami here. I'm not going mad. Sorry, chorizo, not salami. This is the salami. there and the bashola put everything over okay and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna nip around the other side because uh, we've got a real fantastic uh, fish selection so let's have a look around there okay so you've got a fantastic range of sushi here you've got veggie rolls spicy tuna rolls salmon and avocado let's have one of them It's a 
salmon and avocado and spicy tuna. Let's try one of them. Spicy tuna. Let me take a little bit further walk down. You've got smoked mackerel, herring uh, mops, smoked salmon. You've got all the sauces there. Terrace Malata. Prawn cocktail. Let's have a bit of prawn cocktail. I do like my prawn cocktail. Put a bit in there. And take a look here. You've got mus fresh mussels there. Look at them prawns. Now it would be rude not to have one of them, wouldn't it? So let's have two. Excellent. And a slice of lemon. Presentation looks incredible. Um, it's really nicely laid out. And you can see it's not massively busy. It is actually busy, but because there's so many different stations, it's not packed on each area and what have you. So what I'm gonna do is go back to the table, give this a sample. Um, don't wanna be greedy, because obviously I wanna try and get lots of different um, dishes in. So meet you back at the table. Okay, just attention to detail, very, very good. Um, the lady, the server, saw exactly what I'd actually ordered and immediately came over with a finger bowl there, because obviously I've ordered prawns. So, again, just a very, very good touch. It's um, attention to detail, excellent. All right, let's dive in here. Let's try the, the cold meats. Just pull that apart. Very good. It's a salami. It's just excellent quality. Chorizo there. First impressions of the meat. Real good, excellent quality. Now look at this terrine. It's a ham hock terrine. That's so good. Ham obviously is homemade. You can take a look inside. It is full of flavour. Really punchy. That's excellent. Let's try the prawn cocktail. Excellent balance there. The sauce works well. It's a prawn cocktail. You know, it's not a magical prawn cocktail, but it's a very tasty one. Well, wow. now the sushi. Let's cut that in half. Take a look there. Your the salmon, your avocado. Let's try that side first. It was very interesting. The chef there, he actually does all the sushi in front of you. So he wraps it all up, prepares it all. And say the flavours are very, very fresh. The salmon's nice, fresh with the um, avocado. Balances absolutely perfectly. A little bit of wasabi in there. Gives it a nice little kick. Wow. All in all, this is very, very, very good. Now I'm going to try the prawns. <laughs> I'll see you guys shortly because you don't want to see me break them apart and all the rest of it. So, okay, so dish out my prawns again. So, there's a bowl there. I put all the, um, uh, the shell, shells in there. Don't want to destroy your plate. What can I say? Do a little bit of squeeze of lemon on them prawns. Prawns are nice and fresh. Perfectly peeled, if you ask me as well. Obviously, the lemon works well there. Now, obviously, this is a sample of of um, the starters, if you like. You can um, have salad. There's all salad up there. You can have soup as well, and you can go backwards and forwards as many times as you like. It's a buffet. All in all, this is top quality. Wow. Well, okay, finishing starters. Very, very good. What I liked was the freshness of everything. Um, the other thing is, that's oh, lovely, thank you. Thank you. Is instantaneously, you've just seen it there yourself. I was about to say, 
and you're finished. Have you finished the no problem at all? Everything's cleared away. Wow. Now, what we're going to do, I'm going to go up and try their roast, because that does look very good. I had a cheeky look at the roast potatoes. They did look good. Come on then, let's get up and have a look. Hello there. Yeah, can I just have a slice of each there, please? Very much so. That's perfect, thank you. Thank you very much. Are you having a good day yourself? Not too bad. That's good. As much as you can if, when you're at work. I, okay. I, un I understand that as well. That's, no, that's perfect the way it is. Thank you. That's very kind. And I hope you have a good day as well. You too. Bye bye. If you want any horse practice or anything, it's just over there. That's, that's perfect. Thank you. Okay, so I'm also going to get myself one of their Yorkshires. Look there. I'll come back to the gravy in a second. It's a beef gravy. But um, let's take a look at the vegetables. Okay. Um, obviously, I want to try and get as much in as possible as in different uh, stations here. So a quick run through here. We've got the new potatoes there. Uh, purple spotted broccoli, spiced cauliflower and pomegranate, garlic, uh, garlic sautéed kale, uh, honey and thyme carrots, and the roast potatoes. Now, look, take a look close up here. They look really good. So I'm definitely going to have a couple of roasties. Wow. Okay, so I've got a bit of gravy here. Um, they're beef gravy. In fairness, if you're a vegetarian, you can ask for vegetarian gravy. Let's get it nicely poured over here. Let's be greedy. Lovely. Another thing is, if you're a vegetarian, I have a vegetarian station here. What I did forget to do is get some mint sauce and some horseradish. Okay. Okay, so, first things first, take a look. Smells are incredible. We've got loads of gravy there. The Yorkshire pudding, the roast beef, you can see that, that's medium rare. The lamb itself, again, looks, cooked, looks to be cooked very well. Can't wait for them roast potatoes. Nice crispiness to them. We've got some cauliflower with pomegranate there, and some broccoli as well. And you can see the mint sauce and horseradish, both homemade. So let's cut in and see what the roast potatoes are like. Right, so I'm going to start with the roasties. They're nice and crisp. You can hear the crispness there. Let's have it with some of the gravy. And roast potatoes cooked exquisitely, that's the word I'm looking for. Nice and golden on the outside. So again, they've got a nice little crunch there. And then when you open it up, you see the potato in there, cooked to exceptional standards, exceptional. The gravy as well. It's got a nice intense beef flavor with it. Well, a bit of broccoli. I'm gonna save the meat until last. A little bit of broccoli. Now the Yorkshire. Now. It's not so crispy on the outside. There's a little bit of a crisp, crispness there. Clearly homemade. Good look in there. Now, we've already had this debate before. You've got to have a Yorkshire pudding with your roast dinner. A Yorkshire pudding that has Got a little tiny sweetness to it. That is kind of like a pudding. That's excellent. Now let's try the roast beef. You saw the, the chef carving it off for me. And you also heard him say, how much would you like, sir? Would you like some more? And try it straight away with the horseradish. Wow, the beef is so tender. And that horseradish, ooh, that's got a fantastic kick to it. But the tenderness of that beef is outstanding. 
<laughs> Perfectly cooked. Now possibly my favorite on roast dinners is the lamb. So I'm gonna put some mint sauce on there. Actually, what I'd be interested to know is, what is your favorite meat? When you have a roast dinner, which one's your go-to? Mine's generally always been lamb. But again, in restaurants, I always find it, it's not well cooked and it doesn't come up very well. So I'd be interested to see how this one is. Disaster. Not really. That lamb is so good. Again, it's juicy, it's not really tender. The mint sauce. Mint sauce. I'm not sure if it's a mint sauce. The mint itself goes so good together. That is incredible lamb. Well, I'm just I'm now I'm now getting to the stage here where I'm trying to find something wrong. I'm, I can't find anything wrong. The vegetables are cooked perfectly. I love the Yorkshire pudding, that's excellent. Okay, maybe a little bit more crisp on the outside, but I've got to be honest, no need to. The beef is so juicy, succulent, and the lamb. Wow. Oh, actually, I think I completely forgot how good these roasties are. Right, I'm going to finish up here and decide what to have next. I know what I'm going to have. I'm going to have some more lamb. No, I'm not. Okay, see you guys shortly. Okay, so we come over to the live grill area. I have the chef working behind me here. Up the top, you see the, the chicken, and then you've got the um, uh, belly pork there as well. Well, what I'm going to do is go around the other side and make a little bit of a selection. The heat coming off there, I mean, this poor chap must be absolutely sweltering. Wow. You know me, I love my bit of drama, the flames going up, excellent stuff. I'll see you around the other side. Okay, so you have your herb salmon, the chili coriander, hake, a barbecue chicken, pork belly, um, that's a skirt steak, sorry, I was trying to read that, skirt steak, and some um, lamb sausages down there as well, gluten-free ones. Now I'm actually gonna go for a little bit of hake, only because I've just seen them finish cooking it. I have a bit of hate and have some of their chicken as well. Barbecue chicken. And what shall I? Oh, yeah. I've got to have the pork belly with maple syrup. No, actually, I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm going to have one. I was going to have two there, but I'm going to try something else a bit afterwards. Okay. All well, the sausages look good, don't they? No, no, let's not be greedy. I've already had uh, some roast beef, so I won't have the skirt steak. All right, just a small selection here. See you back at the table. Okay, the thing that impresses me every time I come back, new set of knife and forks there. Let's start with the pork belly. With maple. Let's turn that over. Wow, that pork belly. It's delicious. You take some maple there, cut through. You see, it's cooked perfectly. Come on. Let's come. It's got a barbecue sauce on there as well. It's a lovely piece of chicken. It's very moist, very tender. Excellent. Now, this is the hake. Uh, Cake with coriander and chili. Wow. Look at the flakes there. Now, I do like cake, but I just don't get it very often. Beautiful flakes there. You can definitely taste the coriander. And a tiny piece of chili there. Actually, Oh, the any chili there in there, absolutely fantastic. As a piece of fish, I just want you to take close up here. As you can see it, just all coming apart. You can see the beautiful colour of the fish as well. Again, what can I say? It's, um, it's an impressive piece of food. It's an impressive piece of cooking, to be honest. You've got to bear in mind, this place is incredibly busy. And to keep turning over and turning over and, and delivering the quality. Incredible. Well done to the chefs.
You know, you don't get a shout out very often. So well done to you guys. It's an excellent cooking so far. I'm really impressed. Okay, I'm gonna finish up and go for the last station. Oh, actually, I think there's a couple more stations to go. Looking forward to it. Okay, so I'm back at the table. Um, I've got my stone bass um, here. Never had that before. Tandoori chicken and my uh, stir fry. I got a, a sweet, sweet chili stir fry. Now I've got to say the guy. Oh, sorry, the mango chutney there. Um, the chap who was um, cooking it there, and I said, no, 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 no. Make it very, very small. Not very, very small. So that looked to me as if that's got to be the smallest portion I've ever um, served anybody. But you've got to bear in mind, I'm not overloading my plates at all. One. Don't want to waste any food. And two, I just want to give you a real selection of what is available. That's why I'm going to as many different um, stations as possible. Um, well, bear in mind, you can go up as many times and you can get a bigger quantity as you want. So I'll tell you what I have forgotten. I've forgotten all about my Prosecco. I'm having so much fun. That'll make it even more fun. I still. Okay. So I've never had this. Okay, let's not play with it. Let's eat it. It's got a nice flavour that has. Put it away there. You can still taste the fish there. So, if you like, the seasoning, the tandoori seasoning there, hasn't overpowered it in any shape or form. Let's have a look at the chicken. I'll cut into the chicken there. Try with some mango. It has the tandoor there. So this has definitely come out of the tandoor. You can see the great big long uh, spikes that they put through uh, the chicken and put it in the oven. So it's all freshly done. Now onto the stir fry. Oh, that made me jump. Onto the stir fry. It's got my egg noodles. Everything's on, in there. The onions, the carrots, peppers. Spring onions as well. Let's have some chicken with that. I'm going to say something about the stir fry. It's very light. Excellent crunch to all the vegetables in there. But it's not a heavy, heavy kind of charmaine if you like. It's very, very light. I do like the um, sweet chili sauce in there. And I, I've got to say, what I also told them to do was put a couple of chilies in there as well. And of course, that's really livened things up. So. Um, a little bit silly, sweet chilli, oh yeah, 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 and stick some more chilli on there. And again, just a nice touch, give you some chopsticks. I'm going to leave them there, so I'm going to crack on. Again, another excellent plate of food. Okay, so on to the, my final course, if you like. Now, I can actually go up and have uh, fresh pasta, they make it in front of you, or I can have a pizza and they've got a pizza oven, they can do that. Uh, I can actually go and have some cheeses. Now I actually am going to have some cheese. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do that off camera, uh, nice to relax and I don't get often get time to come into places like this, in fact hardly ever. So I want to make the most of that and just, just relax and enjoy myself if you like. But it's dessert time. Let's give this one a go. I've been up, excellent selection of desserts, and they've got the, the guy actually standing there making them all, so freshly done. Take a close up on here. This apple and lime, presentation wise, look at that. You can see just a little wobble on it. Look at that. Excellent. Um, mango um, cheesecake, uh, creme brulee, and look at the size of that strawberry. And there's a huge, great big bowl of strawberries. It wasn't like they were all small. 
That's a proper strawberry. Okay. It's not about to start. I actually don't want to ruin that. Have to do it. I just want to turn that around just so you can see. Wow. Got apple underneath. And so you've got the biscuit underneath, actually. But... Presentation. Fantastic. Flavours. Absolutely fantastic. The mango cheesecake. I do like my cheesecake. Then that there, I was about to say, it's not much of a mango taste. Of course, the mango is on top, isn't it? Now there is. And then cheesecake. Actually, in. in. Sugar on top, perfectly caramelised. Wow. Just so good. Strawberry. Should be so sweet. Fantastic. Well. Well, bear in mind, there's ice creams up there, there's rice pudding, there's lots of sweets there, Turkish delights and different chocolates as well. So, um, okay, well, I'm going to finish up here. See you guys shortly. Unbelievable. Okay, well, I've kind of finished up. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to get myself some cheese, as I said earlier on, and relax. And what I'm going to need to do is have a think of what kind of mark am I going to give this? I'm going to think of the price here. Then you've got to think of the quality as well. What mark would you give it? See you guys shortly. I'm going to go out to the foyer in a minute and decide. Okay, we were in the restaurant. I said it's got a beautiful garden out here. and Obviously, it was raining, but take a look around here. You've got the hotel there, obviously the restaurant area, the glass house that I was just in. Nice tree there, more rooms. I don't know what they pay the gardener here. But wow, that is certainly boxed off, isn't it? A nice pair as well. Now onto the review. Beautiful restaurant, fantastic. The service, incredible. And what really impressed me was all the chefs at all the stations, they knew their job impeccably. Well done to everyone. Now, this is not a stuffy restaurant. I actually got dressed up today and um, I was probably one of the smartest people there, apart from the staff, of course. So yeah, so when you're going there, or if you come here, definitely no need to get dressed up. Just go nice and relax. Okay, start with the starters. Well, the starters are excellent. I'm not going to go through every single each individual item. Starters, I'm giving a straight 10 out of 10 to. I thought they're excellent. The roast dinner itself, I thought the roast dinner was fantastic. You're not going to come here just for a roast dinner because that'd be mad. You'd be paying too much money for a roast dinner. But roast dinner, 10 out of 10. The grill station, well, that was excellent. You saw the guy cooking it there in front of me. I'm going to give that a 9 out of 10. Then you go on to the Asia section. Now, this is the kind of little bit of a letdown, not because the guy uh, didn't cook uh, particularly well, it was mainly because there wasn't a huge selection. So I'm gonna give that a seven out of 10. The food was still great, but if you don't mind tandoori, now onto the desserts. Lovely range of desserts. Oh, I can't get my head around how many strawberries there were and how big they were. But again, brilliant flavors. That's a simple 10 as well. So what mark am I going to give it overall? What mark did you give it? I'd be really interested to know what mark you gave it. Before I come to mark the bill. Uh, your buffet lunch, 65 pound. And it comes with a service charge of 12.5%, which is 8 pound 12, which is a total of 73 pound 12p. No, zero objection service charge. Service was incredible. The other thing you've got to bear in mind, if you come here on a Saturday and Sunday, it's 82 pound. So it's not for the faint-hearted. Marks, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Be interested to see how close you guys were to me. 9 out of 10. Now, I'm not silly. This is for a special occasion. There's no doubt. So you've, got to, you've got to bear in mind this is not cheap. And as I said, at weekends, it's, it's even dearer, £82. But this is 
real top quality cooking. Brilliant service and it's fantastic surroundings. So it's definitely worth a visit. It's without shadow of a doubt, it's definitely worth a visit. If it's not to the glass house, it's worth coming along here and having a coffee or having a drink and having a wander around the grounds because the grounds are absolutely fantastic. The other thing to bear in mind, I paid half that to go for a wimpy the other day. If you can like and subscribe to the channel, you know I always appreciate that. Hit that notification button, that always helps as well. Until next time, bye-bye.